In I and S Part 1, we explored claims that Moses' prophecy of a promised prophet was of Muhammad, but we found instead that it was not only a prophecy of Jesus, but went on to condemn those that don't hear Jesus' words, but instead follow Muhammad. The writer's claim regarding these verses, that he will come from the brothers of the Israelites, i.e. the Ishmaelites. Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. Ishmael was a son of Abraham from his wife Sarah's handmaiden Hagar. In Abraham's day, carrying on a man's name or lineage was so important that if a wife was barren, it wasn't unusual for the husband to have a child by the wife's handmaiden to be raised as the son of the husband and wife. Sarah encouraged Abraham to have a son with her handmaiden, Hagar, because Sarah thought herself to be barren because of her advanced age. Later on, the Lord did allow Sarah to bear a son for Abraham that they named Isaac. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. Abraham not only sent Hagar away, but also Ishmael, thereby disowning him. What else can we learn about Ishmael? The angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man, and his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And so it has conspicuously been the more recent 1,400-year historical record of the seed of Abraham's abandoned son Ishmael, their hand against every man, that is, against every non-Muslim, the Dar el Salaam conquest of the Dar el Harb, from the bloody rape, pillage, and plunder of the imperialistic conquest of nearly the whole known world of the Islamic First Jihad, to over 12,000 deadly Islamic terror attacks around the world just since 9-11. Please visit the religionofpeace.com. Muslims go on to correctly claim that in the seed of Abraham all nations of the earth will be blessed. In Genesis, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. That obedience was expressed when God asked Abraham to take Isaac on up onto a mount to sacrifice him, and Abraham was willing to do so simply because his faith was so great. But the Lord spared Isaac, and Abraham sacrificed a ram instead. The fruit of Islam should dispel any such notion that the blessing of the Lord is in the seed of Ishmael. But let's explore it through Scripture. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Once again, just like in part one, we find that claim of being called an Ishmael is the direct opposite of the actual case. And in the New Testament, in Hebrews we read, By faith Abraham, when he is tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. And that, of course, was a type or a, a fore picture of God giving his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And in Romans, not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. 
you can be too. Every member of the seed of Ishmael can be saved calling on Jesus Christ and repenting. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Indeed, Muhammad was and taught the direct opposite of Jesus Christ. Please click on the top link in the upper right more info section to view the video Islam the Perfect Opposite. Please visit the second link in the upper right for constructive discussion of this video. Visit the third link for an introduction to the Gospels. May God bless you and lead you in the truth of His Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life.